good morning everybody i welcome you all back for most important family in our syllabus that is gramani gramani which is nowadays called poesy it has inflorescence spike of spikelets so before i move to the flower i just want to tell what is spike of spikelet we have uh, rhesmus inflorescence yesterday we did the cymos one in which we have indeterminate growth cymos we have basi petal but here we have acropetal succession and it depends upon the different types like first is main axis is elongated and it comes raceme spike today which we are spike of spikelets that is wheat catkin this we did uh, yesterday and this is the spike this is raceme raceme they have pedicellate flowers spikes they have sessile flowers and if these sessile flowers they are unisexual it is called catkin and the fruit which is formed from this spike and catkin is sorosus which we are taking nowadays that is the jackfruit or katal then we have the uh, corium in uh, corium it is a raceme in which all the flowers they reach the same level due to mere elongation of the pedicel that is why it comes under the main axis elongated so here the main axis is elongated this is the main axis and the pedicel is of varied shape outer one are longer and inner one the smaller and they reach at the same plane and the next we have the we did yesterday when pedicellate flower arises from the common point it is from the common point see it is the umbelliferi member member of apc so second type uh, we do it uh, today is the main axis we are doing is the main axis is shortened that is corium and umbel i just here the main axis is a bit not along it it is shortened see and this is the example of corium corium which comes from the greek word corymbos which means bunch of flowers and fruits it is prominent in the brassicaceae family an umbel in apc or umbelliferi in which both you see main axis is shortened and the third type uh, we have is the main axis is flattened it is flat right so it is basically first is capitulum or called head centripetal manner on receptacle outer flowers are older see here this is flattened and it arrangement is centripetal with outer flowers are older and it is in sunflower and from most prominent members of other members that is compositi and here it has two flowers please refer to the videos of compositi and where we did in great explanation so it has the disc floret and ray floret there you come to know which is uh, actinomorphic and which is zygomorphic please refer to that video so then besides that we have the receptacle then peduncle phyllaries and this is the disc and this is the ray right so this comes under the compound inflorescences that is capitulum and then when we have the uh, next uh, special inflorescence cythium this family i am taking in coming days u for bac in this inflorescence there is a cup shaped involucer that is uh, this is a cup shaped uh, bract bracts are fused to form a cup shaped involucer it is a nectar secreting glands and this involucer enclosing a single female flower surrounded by the male flower and they are centrifugally arranged this question will come and this is uh, best example is the euphorbia so today i did the rhesmus inflorescence and now i am coming to the 
uh, flower that is the bracteate right because of lamina bracteolate palea these are the two lodicles i will explain later on then it is sessile bisexual irregular zygomorphic it is a come into the league of the labiate hypogynous conditions that is the ovary superior and other parts endoparent parts are inferior by default cyclic included within glooms that is lamina six nerved on this question will come and palea that is keeled and boat shaped which of the lodicles is keeled and boat shaped now we are coming to the perianth which is represented by two anterior small free scales called lodicles they as because of hypogynous condition they are inferior they arise opposite to the palea on the anterior side the lodicles are hygroscopic and after absorbing water they force apart the palea and glooms and the essential organs are exposed for pollination so uh, we will do you will see this is uh, we have i just told these are the lodicles and these lodicles these are the two lodicles and they are opposite to these these palias and they are hygroscopic they absorb moisture and they when they absorb moisture they force apart they results in the force aparting of the uh, palea and glooms and exposing the essential organs these palea uh, they are force apart and these essential organs are basically exposed this is the spike of spikelet lodicules superior palea inferior palea right and this is the gloom and this is racula first gloom and second gloom see glooms then palea lamina as i already told that these lamina basically they are uh, six nerved and palea the keeled and boat shaped see lamina six nerved 1 2 3 6 and this is boat shaped as you are riding in the lake and they are keeled then we have the lodicles and then stamens and kinesium see uh, the androsium androsium is 3 polyandros filaments long see three filaments are long and they are cylinder right anthers they are bithicus to then it is dorsi fixed and the anther lobes are divaricate see longitudinal dehiscence longitudinal extrus and by default because of hypogynous conditions they are inferior now we are coming to the last part of it is gynaecium see this gynaecium is monocarpulary superior ovary because of hypogynous condition triangular in outline see this is triangular in outline unilocular uniovule one ovule with blessel placentation same as that of we did the first family this is the last we are doing and now we are first family not last that is ranunculaceae where the ranunculus has blessel placentation there are also told there is a delphinium also in that family which has marginal presentation and marginal presentation is also called ventral presentation because ovules are present on the ventral side so stigma see two feathery see stigma two feathery the terminal they arise directly from the top of ovary they are terminal 
and arise directly from the top of the ovary. See, fruit is corapsis, which we did yesterday also, and seed endospermic, and floral formula. We have that is it is zygomorphic, bisexual, two lodicles, androsium three. I just told you in gynesium one. So, diagnostic features of gramini, zygomorphic, hypogynous conditions because of which the ovary is superior and rest androperian parts are the inferior. Then, uh, perianth absent, they are represented by the lodicles, stamen 3, polyandrous, pistils unilocular, and here the testa fused with pericarp. Pericarp is fused yesterday, we did it with great explanation. So, fruit is grain or corapsis. So now what is corapsis? I again want to tell you, yesterday we did, but it is it comes in the simple dry fruits that is indehiscent part. Indehiscent one, it is one seed, it comes from the monocarpillary ovary and pericarp is fused. This is the corapsis. Sipsella, it is bicarpillary, syncarpus, but inferior ovary and persistent callus forming pappus, single seeded and pericarp is free. See, with Samara it is dry indehiscent, one seeded, bicarpillary syncarpus, free pericarp. The wings of Samara, they are outgrowth of pericarp. So these are basically the indehiscent and in, it has, uh, if it comes from the monocorporary, it is called corapsis and if it comes from the bicorporary, it is called sipsella, that is sipsella also from the inferior ovary. Then we have dehiscent, that is follicle. They come from the superior monolocular ovary, but pericarp is free. This is different from the corapsis that here pericarp is free. And achenes also, single seeded. And siliqua, siliqua also, but siliqua comes from the monocarpary, but because of the formation of uh, false septum or replum, it is bicarpary, which is unilocular, but appears bilocular with the false septum that is silica also comes under the dehiscent and the pericycle, uh, pericarp is free. So then we have the uh, capsule. Capsule is the uh, fruit from syncarpus inferior ovary. Same as that of sipsella. Right? So uh, this is dehiscent and sipsella is indehiscent and dehiscent by two or more lines of suture. This is capsule. And I, yesterday I told you hyponthetium inflorescence give rise to psychosis. So third type of fruit we did yesterday is cremocarp. Very important. We did in the family also. So I request you to see the videos of Umbliferi and ex see the detailed cremocarp there also and detailed floral structure. Cremocarp it is a bicarpary, syncarpus, bilocular and inferior array. And what is the difference between the cremocarp and sipsella is they are also bicarpary inferior ovary, but these are indehiscent. And these cremocarp they split longitudinal into two indehiscent mericarps, which are arranged by these mericarps, arranged by a carpophore. Then we are coming to the regma. It is bimulticarpillary syncarpus superior ovary, which breaks into many segments, not two like cremocarp, many segments. It is a resinous that is castor. So, uh, yesterday uh, I also did the this uh, that is uh, uniparous scorpoid. Normal uh, that is scorpoid is it on one side and it is on both sides. Uniparous scorpoid, syncinus, where the successive lateral branches develop on the both sides of the main axis. See, this, 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 right, this is main axis. And uh, this also, please refer to the Soranesi family, Raphidium. And this comes a lot of time in IS also. A flat scorpoid syme in which all the flowers are present at the same level. It is like a universe scorpoid, but here the flowers they reach at the same level. Right? So, uh, today we finish the Gramini. And uh, for Gramini, besides Gramini, I did uh, this uh, Capitulum. Right? which is a compositive family. So, which families we have to revise today is the Solanaceae, Compositi, Umbliferi 
and this u for bsc i will take in day or two right and besides them uh, i did the uh, that is brassiki right and uh, apsc i already told you so you have to revise these families so by next week mid of the next week i start uh, uh, taking the mcqs regarding these families and it is not uh, possible for me to get the mcq if you don't do these families priorly so it is easy for me and you to understand if you did these families beforehand so i request you to all do these families because today i finishes the uh, gramini so important family it is not important from the bsc 2 point of view in their theory also but but bsc 3 msc 1 msc 2 bsc 3 they have to appear for the oct lot of questions will come for msc 1 and 2 they have to appear in ugc and other exams staff selection exams are there is there so uh, you basic knowledge is required i already told you if you get the basic knowledge there is no issue that uh, you will fail in any exam right so uh, i believe in the basic knowledge because basic knowledge helps you to get of all the exams right i am the example in front of you i cleared all the exams it is not because uh, everybody one thing it is required hard work never goes waste it pays off it never goes waste hard work if you do did hard work today it will pay off in the you to in the long run and i did this same thing because there is no other key to success than the hard work so uh, then i um, uh, just wipe it out so um, uh, again by doing these uh, inferences so this is the floor formula of gramini so stay indoor stay safe so i will be there in the uh, next that is uh, i just want to tell you about the next that is u for bsc i already told you and the inflorescence of uh, u for bsc i already told you scythium please go through it and uh, stay indoor stay safe bye bye thank you